Hey guys, welcome to the first video of NM Tech. Here we have the Tronsmart MK9082, 1.6 gigahertz. Can be overclocked to 1.8 gigahertz if set properly. Um, I'll put the rest of the details in the description. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing a cooling solution with the heat sink. Um, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Now, what you see here is the antenna for the Wi-Fi and this tab right here just slide your fingernail right here and kind of pry it open not too much not to hurt it okay and you get this side open kind of get your fingertips and kind of squeeze it open there you go and um, now you'll see the board and I'm actually going to tip it over. And it goes this way. Just press it down right here. Okay, there you go. Okay, and I've, I already took the heat sink off, but you see here the CPU, which is where the heat sink goes. It also goes in these two chips right here. Um, I don't know exactly what they are, probably RAM or something other than that. But um, anyway, if you see close, sorry, if you look up close, if I can zoom in right here, you'll see that it says rock chip, um, and that is the processor type. So let me zoom out a little more. Okay, so by default, they already have the paste set on the heat sink, and you can see I scraped it off because it looked very, it looked bad, just the way they put it on there. It's really horrible. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a thermal pad, and I got maybe five of these off of eBay for $3, $4, um, and it looks like this, and it's not adhesive, so it won't stick my bad about that um, but all you need is tape and I'll show you what we're going to do so first take the thermal pad and place it right under the heat sink right under here just kind of pull it down a little bit it does kind of stick to it um, so it's kind of hard to change it up a little bit, but um, stick it on here. And um, just press down a little bit so it kind of sticks to there. Make sure it doesn't stick to your fingers because it does tend to do that. Um, okay, so now we're going to take our tape. And it can be any kind of tape, just clear. Uh, sticky tape and just tape one side and tape it to the SD card slot right here you can use two pieces if you want but there's really no point because the enclosure case pretty much closes it up but um you want tape on here that way it doesn't move around and it goes to the other parts of the um, the board okay and then take another piece of tape and um, let me put on this mini HDMI port right here just tape it make sure it's sealed doesn't have to be perfect but um, let's see if it'll tip over or not Okay, yeah. I'm not going to be shaking it or anything, so there's no point of, um, you know, if it moving around a lot. And uh, make sure your antenna goes back in, right? Stays there. And then uh, just put the enclosure on. I usually line it up um, uh, front side with the OTG and um, power and USB port 
right there and I kind of just start from here make sure it's lined up and then I close the rest of the body right here so there you go and um, temperature was really good on here um, I actually reached up um, on a test um, maybe about a hundred with this solution on here um, without it it would get up pretty high um, I didn't test it without the uh, without the thermal pad on it but um, I know it was really high before it was on there because you can't um, without thermal compound or thermal pad um, it will really overheat and it could actually start melting or smoking because it gets so high it'll it'll it get up to you know 200 um, especially with gaming and other stuff like that um, but this worked out really well for me um, I hope it does for you guys too this is NM Tech and I'll see you next time